Hey guys, this is Daryl from uh, Daily Crypto Trade Signals. Woohoo! We got a jam packed, jam packed, action packed video for you. We're gonna talk about the crypto markets. We're gonna talk about Dogecoin. Woohoo! Dogecoin to the moon. We're gonna talk about some of the news and then we're gonna do a QA. You're gonna love it. Let's get into it right now. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, support the channel. Let's see the Bitcoin dominance come down. That's really, that's really major. That's really important. We really need to see that come down uh, because. You know, if, if the Bitcoin dominance is high, what that means is that any any kind of move that uh, Bitcoin makes, it's going to have a larger impact on the altcoin. So you guys kind of understand that, right? If you understand that, smash the likes. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, Bitcoin is down. Good, guys. BNB is down. Uh, ADA is down. Doge is down 5.76%. Uh, DOT is down. Uni is down. LTC. Solana is down. That's really disappointing. Because Solana is a really good, uh, really good coin. So we're seeing a lot of a lot of red. Even Matic is down. That's sad, man. Uh, Vet is down. Filecoin. It's all. It's all. We got a lot of red today, guys. So let's take a look at. Uh, let's just refresh that again. Let's take a look at how we're faring on the seven day. A refresh. Okay. Let's look at the seven day here. Boom. Yeah. All right. Let's try that again. All right. It's not happening. Solana's still up. Uh, link, link, but everything is green for the whole past seven days. Everything is, everything is red. It really, it's really not good, guys. Uh, so it really sucks. So let's take a look at the Doge chart. The Doge chart. Okay. So you guys can see I'm using my Aurox terminal, and you guys will find a free link to the Aurox terminal down below, guys. So you guys want to check out this uh, free, uh, free charting tool. It's 100% free. I love it. You should love it. And uh, check it out. It's 100% free. Uh, you've got the news uh, and all that kind of stuff and, and, and that. So, hey, it's free. I, I love it. I use it. So let's take a look at what's happening with Doge right now. Uh, as, you know, as I talked about before, you guys can see this. We have this, descend, we have this descending triangle here. Okay? And... Uh, What's going on is you can see here, we see the red, the red uh, triangle. This red triangle indicates that it's a bearish pattern forming. Okay, so you can see we have this huge descending triangle here, and we're trading. We keep bouncing against this descending triangle, and we're still bouncing. We need to break out of this. And if you look at here, in fact, if you look at this pattern here, this is kind of like a W pattern. And we at the top of the W pattern, we try to break out, but we keep getting rejected. So if we if we continue to draw this line down here, this could take us all the way down here. Okay, and then that and then I, we have another major support level around about 29 cents around here, around 28 cents. We have major support level. You can see we have support here here and this is all buy indicators here so this is major support here here and here so we have we definitely we definitely have a, a major support level right there okay so let me just show you where i'm talking about so there's a major support around about the 28 cent level okay around about there okay so around about 20 28 uh, cent level we have major support so do i think do I think that we're going to go down? So, you know, we can, you know, we can either break off this line, we can break the upside and start testing our next level at 36, maybe by the 21st of June. Or there's a big or or but here, right, guys? Or we could continue on in a downward pattern like this. And then hit the bottom and then break out in this direction and then that would take us almost to the uh, first of uh, first of uh, july so that's where i see it right now guys so i you know i, I think scenario a is that we're going to break you know we need to we need to break past this uh, triangle here uh or we're going to break down so i'm not exactly sure right now looking at it you know, listen, I'm not going to be like the other YouTubers that are going to, you know, tell everything that everything is fine and everything is 
hunky dory because right now guys it's not looking good so we can either go down and it all depends if we break down below this support level of 31.6 if we break down below this support level right here guys then we're definitely going down okay we're definitely going down and we may retest uh, 28 cents and then and then bounce up again okay all right so you guys need to keep an eye on that if we if we can stay above this support level here then there's a good likelihood that we're going to break to the upside okay so how do you guys feel about that any super chats in the house right now any questions okay so that's where I see that we're going okay all right and this is on the four hour chart all right this is on the four hour chart uh, so we really need to keep above the 32 cent support line. If not, we're going to break down and probably retest our 28 cent uh, support there. Okay. So this is our current support. This is our next big area of support. All right. So, you know, that's what it, it is, what it is, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to tell you that everything is looking good because everything is not looking good. It all depends all depends guys it all depends on this right here okay it all depends on that right there all right guys so we need to stay above there so you guys if you you know, guys just need to keep an eye on that okay right now at 32 we're still we're still well above it let's hopefully we can get a pump soon okay guys all right but it's but you can see this is a bearish indicator here this is definitely a bearish move right here okay all right, let's take a look at the news and let's uh, understand why uh, Bitcoin dumped, okay? So we all know about this whole El Salvador thing, right, guys? And uh, El Salvador becomes the first country to adopt Bitcoin. And then we got Mexico and we got Paraguay and all of that uh, other countries hopefully jumping in soon. So you have to understand that IMF is headquartered in America, okay? IMF is, uh, you know, really the Sebastian of the old banking system. And, you know, they have a very big vested interest in Bitcoin not being legal tender, okay? And recently, El Salvador, because of the whole COVID thing, had asked the uh, International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to kind of give them a loan to help them out over the COVID crisis. So, yesterday, I mean, about two or three hours ago, um, basically the IMF, the head of IMF calls the president of El Salvador and he says, hey, we need to have an emergency meeting. We've got concerns over this uh, Bitcoin thing making it legal tender. And they kind of intimated that, hey guys, you want to borrow money, right? From the World Bank, IMF. Well, with this whole Bitcoin being legal tender, maybe we're not going to give you any emergency loan for your COVID situation. Now, they didn't say that directly, but the intimation is there. So one of the reasons why the Bitcoin is tanked is because, you know, everybody's pretty bullish about this whole El Salvador thing. And now they're worried that El Salvador, they may do a reversal uh, because they're, you know, IMF is kind of making, not making threats, but they're saying, you know, we don't like it, but you want something from us, so you're going to have to stop it if you want something. So you kind of get the, kind of get the drift, right, guys? So that's why, that's why we're seeing, um, that's why you're seeing Bitcoin go down, okay? So they're raising a number of, of issues and legal concerns, blah, 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 la, la, la. So that's basically that, okay? So other news, uh, Here's the other news that also didn't help uh, and, it, and it kind of brought down uh, Bitcoin as well, is that Bitcoin 2021 attendees, uh, there's been a whole bunch of positive COVID tests and now they're going viral, okay? So this has been a lot of people talking about, a lot of people going viral, uh, you know, it was the first Remember, this was the first major in-person conference since the pandemic started. And uh, people are saying that this may have been a super spreading event as dozens of uh, participants revealed that they tested positive for COVID. 
So this is kind of having a, hey, Kathleen in the house. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Kathleen, thank you. Any more super chats, Kathleen? Woohoo! Thank you, Kathleen. Go, Doge, go. I appreciate it. So you can see that this is an, also another reason why uh, the Bitcoin price is down. You know, it kind of, uh, you know, it created a little bit of fun. People are kind of scared, you know, uh, so all of this. So the organizer of Bitcoin 2020 from Craig Fist to Miami also retweeted this, you know. So uh, this, is a, this is a tweet. Uh, let's see. My computer is slow, guys. I'm sorry. So he tweeted this, you know, bah, bah, bah. Okay, so, so that's kind of funny, right? So this is another reason why we're seeing uh, why we're seeing uh, the uh, Bitcoin price going down. And as you know, uh, when Bitcoin goes down, because Bitcoin dominance is at 43%, we don't want to see that, guys. We definitely want to see Bitcoin dominance uh, being around about, you know, 35%. That's really important for us, okay? Any more Super Chats in the house, guys? Woohoo! Dogecoin to the moon. So we've got this news. Uh, also, you guys all heard about this. I talked about this in, in yesterday's video. I mentioned it also in the morning update. So Doge in Brooklyn, a local apparel store, starts accepting uh, the famed cryptocurrency. But what's more important than that is this, okay? And this is huge, guys. Absolutely amazing. Right now, we have 1,407 merchants and that's up 55% are accepting Dogecoin, okay? So we've got 834 shops that are now accepting Dogecoin. And as we get more utility and we get more adaptability, then the price has got to go up, right, guys? Okay, so, you know, we've got all of these different shops here uh, that are accepting Doge. So we've got eight, 834 shops. We've we got art, bikes, beauty, uh, books, CD, CBD, uh, clothing and fashion. So let's take a look at clothing and fashion. So you can see that we get all, we have all of these different companies uh, all accepting Doge, okay? These are all, all retailers that are now accepting Doge, okay? So you guys can, you guys can definitely check out the link yourself. It's up here. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, CryptoWork.com, pay with Doge. So go, go check out that link. So there's so much out there. So we got 834 uh, shops. We got internet services. We got offline services. We got travel and tourism. We got hotel bookings. Uh, you got uh, Trippy, Trippy Key, uh, Revivot, uh, Air Baltic. All of these different companies. You can now book hotel rooms, air tickets, and stuff. Too bad we got, we got COVID, nobody's really going anywhere, right? So we got insurance, travel agents. So this is really fantastic news, guys, right? So I believe this is a catalyst. This is really what's going to uh, uh, get Doge moving. And uh, I'm very excited. You should be excited. And uh, you guys don't need to panic. So what you guys need to do is you guys definitely need to be watching the charts. And, and let's make sure that we don't break down beyond this uh, support level. Okay, guys? All right. Wow, that was an amazing video. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fantastic. Guys, remember, support the channel. Smash the like. Subscribe right now. Remember, none of this in this video is financial advice. Do your own risk management. Watch out for nasty scammers. And I'm Daryl. I love all of you. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for watching this video and share with your friends. Get the message out there. Woohoo! Dogecoin to the moon, guys.